Mapera, Mapera said, ah, ah, no king, if you want to see us that we really love our faith, you make a grass thatched house and you put two of us and you burn two of us. This Makai said, no, we are not to die. He said, me, I have not come to die. I came to preach the word of God. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I am Sarah Pedrin and today I am coming to you from the Anglican Shrine. So this is the museum and I can't wait to take you inside. We have a guide inside who is going to tell us everything. I hope you guys are excited as I am. Pope Paul came here. When he came here, is the man that unveiled this trace of the museum together with the, uh, the, the, the bishop of, uh, of, uh, of Kampala Diocese, Namibe Diocese, who was member for Sikichuan Waida, and together with the, uh, the retired uh, archbishop who was starring in Tagadi. Uh, it was unveiled on uh, 28th November 2015. When we talk of the matters, Uganda matters, most of the people, they think of Christians. It is not like that. Yeah, they died for their Christ, but even we have the Muslims who are the first martyrs to die for their, for, for their faith. Uh, the Muslims, their number was 70, but the ones who were brought to this place, because it was Adocha place, Chasau, who it was not yet named as Namibongo, as you know my hearing today, uh, these people were about to visit Rocha Tree in the Zara Zade, and they were killed from there. The number was 20. So that was how the Muslims came to be the first martyrs of the land. Why was it that the king ordered for this for this man to be put in there? First of all, we know that this was all brought about the disobedient of these boys. Uh, for the Muslims, how they disobeyed the king, it is that it was uh, when they brought their, their faith here in Uganda, uh, the king loved them. When he loved them, he also built the first mosque, which is in Kisukasubi, there in Kampala. When he built it, he was highly loving his religion. He prayed with them. But it is that one time he went at dinner mosque and he found them doing prayers. And he was like, who is that man talking? And yet I'm here. Because he was the highly or the supreme to be worshipped. So what he did, he said, no, you man, you cannot continue talking when I'm here. It is me supposed to be talking. They, for them, they said, our man is not circumcised. He cannot take the leads, but because he refused. And whereby here in Uganda, uh, King Okabaka does not shed blood additionally, does not visit the grave where they buried someone, does not go to see the sick people. All those things are our. Uh, of abomination unto him. It is one day that he called these people, he had a function at his home, and most of the friends were the Muslims for him. These Muslims, when they heard that the king is inviting them in his palace, they also invited other Muslims from Egypt. So when they landed here, they went and visited the king. What the king did was so happy, and he prepared for them so different dishes. Uh, the time of serving came. He told the guys, let's wash up our hands and we go and we serve food. The guys went, washed the hands, pick the plates and serve yourselves. They picked the plates. Uh, serve yourself. No one was the short that is going to serve. What came into their mind was that the meat that we are going to eat is Unclean. So when they refused to eat, that is when King Mutesa one soon said, Muslims, you are no longer my friends. You hate me like that. Better die. So from there, he ordered for the Muslims to be put 
in death. So that is how the Muslims were killed because of it. they are disobedient, having refused to eat the meal the king that has prepared. When we fix our eyes up on our throne, our ceiling, you see a drum, you see a spear or an arrow, and again we have a shield. Uh, a drum here in Uganda, it was commonly used for communication purposes. However, if someone has passed on, what they do was to, to drum, drum, they drum, they drum, then people will come and gather, they will be told what has happened. A spear was mainly used for, for fighting. It was a uh, fighting weapon again for hunting because by then here in Chasaku people liked hunting so much. Whereby a shield was used for protection. This is uh, Kabaka Mutesa one. Uh, his name again was called Sona, who was the 30th king. He was succeeded by this one. When he disappeared, here, here we don't say that he died, we say he disappeared. Uh, when he disappeared, uh, this Mwanga uh, succeeded him. Then after, we had this one who came to be the president of Uganda. Then again, we fought this one who signed the 19 agreement. Then today, we are having Sao Sanja. That one will be Terry, who we are seeing up. Then up there, we are having uh, the, the archbishops of Uganda, how they came to appear. Then this side, we have the uh, bishops of Nandembe Diocese, which is the main province of the Anglican Church of Uganda. The tools that we are seeing from here, these are the tools that really killed these matters because these guys were not given the guns. The guns were only for the whites, for the Arabs, and for the king. So these guys, they had to use these tools that we are having, the pangas, axes, spears, wooden hammers, even if, even if it is a spoon, put you in this. He was highly honored, that is why he's having a calabash. He was provided with a local blood drinks. Came to this point where uh, they sharpened their tools from. And here you see this man sharpening the manga. They used a stone, not a file, because a file is of today, uh, was not like of today. I told you that Makajanga was given these boys to bring them to Chasanku. So a journey from Munyonyo to this ground of Chasanku. It was a long journey. These guys, they walked, they passed it through Kampala, they passed it through Chiwaturi, they had to pass it through Kamori, they, have, they had to reach even Chalwajala to come this side. As in their way that they are told, they cannot continue with that walking. Remember, they are dogs, they are not given water, they are not given anything. But what for them they want to do is not these guys not to die from the way. Because if they die on the way, what if the king is passing? But will he meet the dead person, which is an, an abomination unto him? So as they were coming, these guys that they reached a certain point that for them they cannot continue walking, they tied their legs and they started dragging them on the ground. So as they reached the place of Chalwa, Jala, Kamuri, these people, the, these guards and Kanchanga, they were asked by this Baganda that how have these boys come? Uh, in Uganda, it is said that and the response was they have come with back they have not come they have not footed they have not used the bus if it was a bus here in Uganda it would be Namu bus not Namugongo if they use the border border it could be na border border not Namugongo but because they used their back that is why they say they have come with back Baze Namugongo. So from there, yeah, the people heard about it. people have come with back. People have come with back. So Avant Baze Namugongo. Avantu Baze Namugongo. So the word Namugongo kept on spreading to the extent that it covered the name Chasanku. Chasanku was swallowed, and from there, Namugongo happened. This is the burial ground. At first it was 
uh, a mass grave of soil, but he will realize it the way how it is. And we do not remove the ash, you know, it is real that these people are laid here, uh, a burial ground of the 25 mothers, 13 Anglicans, and then the Lord are the Catholics. Uh, the Catholics who believe 13, but as I told that one man was picked from them and was killed from this point of the Catholic shrine, who was also murdered. So his number is not uh, indicated here, and his name is not even at the news that we are having there. And the number that we are having on this cemetery is, uh, uh, is for people who are in this grave. teaching the Gandans on how to read and write over there. Uh, the Gandans love so much to read the Bible, but they are not able to read the words and to read every written information. So this girl and uh, this man helped them to know how to read and write the baby uh, uh, chapter. He was a doctor, but when he came to Uganda, he introduced the vaccination to Ugandans. And here is the first hospital that he built here in Uganda. This is the way how it looks like. This is the first Mengo hospital, and present Mengo looks like this. So this is the guy that introduced the vaccination first. We are the men who were using of herbs. This is the present Roman Catholic home to Uganda Cathedral. Church, and we are going to see how it was before to be looking like this. And then over here, here we have this man who told that in 1879, Roman Catholic came in, wrote by a man called Laudel Arias Matel. This is Matera, I was telling you that we don't struggle with the names. This is Matera, and this is the man. Uh, this one, for this one, this one came in, is called Alexander Mackay, we call him Mackay. Mackay. So Mackay, when he came in 1877, he was together with this man, uh, Stanley. Okay. Yeah. Not the 3rd June of, of 1886, no, it is the 3rd June of every year. We are going to see, it is interesting, there is uh, another story. The ladies on this land are all wives of the king. He was told that divorce the wives and remain with a wife so that you get baptized. It was a very hard decision to take because if you use the different dishes and they tell you no, you only depend on this dish, it will be very difficult for you. So this guy, guy just closed the eyes, the king said, okay, I'm remaining with this, and from there when he said, I'm remaining with a wife, this guy was baptized and was given a name, Daniel. So from there, Christian names began to be given to the kings. Manga died while he was king. Manga Daniel he died with a Christian name. People are fighting over here. If you look at the there is another work to be done out here and we want to look to this work and this work. This land, we want to raise it again so that it looks something. Every pipe brings out fresh and clean water. But only that we are told before that you wash your hands before doing any exercise of, of any food or any drink. So it is the same water for drinking. Knowing the history of this place makes you a bit sad. This is said to be holy water. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you liked the video, kindly give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, kindly subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.
拜拜。